cataractcoach.com quiz. Should you make your phaco incision on the steep, flat, or other meridian? This is a patient with a significant degree of astigmatism, steep at 30 degrees. So we're using this instrument to make small marks in the corneal epithelium at that meridian. The black dots on the cornea are marking the cardinal meridians of 90 and 180 degrees. And this fixation ring is marked off in clock hours, so each of those is 30 degrees. So here's the opposite side at the 30 degree meridian as well, and we'll make those marks. And now we have a nice clear delineation of where our steep axis is, so steep at 30 degrees. So now, to make the incisions, the paracentesis can be made anywhere. It's not that critical because it's only about one millimeter wide and will have no significant effect on the astigmatism. The critical question is where do you make the main phaco incision? The phaco incision will induce astigmatism. And that's important to know. So if we make the phaco incision on the steep meridian, it will help reduce the total astigmatism and not shift the axis. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll put the fixation ring down here, line that up, and we're going to make this incision right at that steep meridian. Now this incision is going to be 2.8 millimeters wide, and it's going to cause, in general, about 0.25, maybe 0.3 diopters of flattening at that meridian. At the end of the case here, we'll take out our viscoelastic, we're going to line up this torque lens. Now let's talk about a couple things here. If you make the phaco incision on the flat axis, it will slightly increase the astigmatism, but it will not shift the meridian. That's important. So that's the second best option. The poorest choice, or the worst choice here, is to make your incision at some other axis, oblique to the steep or flat axis. And the reason is that will not only change the astigmatism, it'll also change the meridian. And so instead of having steep at 30 degrees, if I had made the phaco incision here in this eye at the 180 degree mark, then the incision would cause a shift in the total amount of astigmatism, but also would shift the meridian from steep at 30 to maybe steep at 20 or 18 or 22, and it'd be harder to predict. So by keeping the incision on the steep axis, or even the flat axis, you won't change the meridian. You'll simply change the total amount. So the answer to the quiz is, it, it's always best to make the incision on the steep axis. That's the best choice. Second best choice, which is acceptable, is to make it on the flat axis, and then simply increase the power of the torque lens that you're using. And then the last choice, which I try to avoid at all costs, is to make it oblique to the steep or flat axis. So there's the lens. You can tell the dot on the lens are the toric markings. We're lining up those toric marks on the eye well with the toric marks that we made on the cornea at that 30 degree meridian. And you can see that lens is beautifully lined up. We'll confirm here at the end. We have the Purkinje images of the lights in the center of this multifocal lens. And then we also have the lens lined up at the correct axis. This patient in the post-op period had a refraction of just about perfect Plano. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. There's a new full list of all videos by category, very well organized and a lot easier to search for what you want.